I'd like to share a little example of serializing PHP objects to save objects in session variables <clears throat> and restore the objects on another script. So really I want to create a way for PHP objects to persist their state across multiple pages or multiple scripts. I'm going to use that idea for building an OOP shopping cart later on. Right now, I just want to illustrate the idea. To illustrate that, I'll create some object, in this case, an array list. And I'm going to populate my array list with a cat, a dog, and a canary. Let me just see my animals in an unordered list. So create a UL here and for each animals as one animal I'll create a list item with each one animal and append the list item to the UL. So in the end I can echo out a complete UL as HTML. Let me run that. Here we are. So here's an unordered list built with uh, my animals array list of three animals. Now what I wanted to demonstrate is that this animals object can persist its state from this page, from this script, to some other script. Right now it's blank. To do that, I need to do a couple of things. First of all, I need to serialize the animals. Now, the serialized, the serialized animals is a string representation of the object. Let me just show you what that looks like. So a string representation of my animals array list looks like that. It's a string and it keeps information about the kind of object I'm working with and its values. You'll notice cat, dog and canary and some other stuff that may not mean much at this point. So a serialized object is a string representation of a living object. I can store that in a session variable. <clears throat> By adding a session variable, we could call it animals and give it a value of serialized. Now it wouldn't be possible to store animals directly, the array list directly in a session because that's a PHP object. And as you may or may not know, a session really is a txt file that your web server creates for you. And that means effectively that session variables can contain any data as long as it is containable in a txt file, as long as it's a string. So dollar serialized is a string representation of my ArrayList object here. Now I just need to run my code to actually create a session and and create a session variable animals with the serialized ArrayList. So run that. There we go. Now I expect my ArrayList to be saved in a session and because of that it should be accessible from some other page, some other script. To get hold of it I need to use a session object and then I can get hold of the serialized ArrayList by getting whatever I find under the key, under the name, animals. 
the Postmates animals. Yes. I call this session variable animals, so I need to get the content of that. In order to convert this serialized object to an actual array list, I need to unserialize the serialized object. And once it's been unserialized, it, it's really unserialization really brings back the object to life. So it takes the uh, string representation and creates a living object out of it. And I can use that just to demonstrate that it's actually brought back to life. I'm going to want to echo out my animals here. And there we have it. Here are my three animals. They weren't created as such on this page, on this script here. They were created in the other script I've got. But because the object animals was serialized and stored in a session variable, the object could be brought back to life by unserialization. So by combining a session variable and serialization, I can really have PHP objects that persist their state. And that is exactly what I'm going to want to use to build a shopping cart in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.